What's up guys, welcome back. So today's video, I wanted to compare and do a side-by-side -side for you on the two different active target transducer covers that have recently hit the market. So we have the one by Summit Fishing and then the one by Ashmore Marine Products. Okay, I did. I wanted to do this for myself also to see the differences between the two, so that's why I grabbed both of them. But now that I have both, I can do this review for you guys and a side-by-side -side on them so you guys can make up your mind on which one you wanna go with. Now, I highly recommend at least one of them. One thing I noticed when I attached my, uh, my Active Target transducer to, I use the Life Scanner Elite, which real quick, if you guys aren't familiar with this Life Scanner Elite, I'll put a link up above you. Um, I have a video on the channel showing this thing. This is hands down the best mounting option for the Active Target. I don't care, compare it to whatever you wanna to compare it to, hands down the best option out there. Absolutely love it, check out the video on it. But when I put my Active Target transducer on it, one thing I noticed was it kind of sticks out a little bit. I was a little bit worried about it for trailering and things like that. You know, if I'm going long distance and uh, rocks kicking up or whatever, I'm a little bit nervous about that. So when these hit the market, I was all over it. And again, I wanted to get both just to kind of see what the differences were for myself. But now that I have them, I can show you guys. Highly recommend getting at least one of these. You're going to see the differences here. Um, so let's start with the Ashmore Marine. I'll show you how it attaches to the transducer and we'll go from there. Let me start with the Ashmore Marine products cover. So it looks like this, has the hole right here, comes with a thumb screw. This comes with the mount, or I'm sorry, with the cover. Obviously one side is cut out and it has the notch right here for the cable. So simple as can be, all you do is slide it over the transducer, the thumb screw, it's threaded, it screws into our active target transducer. All right, so you just pop it on there, take the thumb screw that's provided by Ashmore Marine, tighten it down, and nice and secure completely i'll put a picture up on your screen so you can kind of see it from the front angle but it completely protects the transducer it is open on the back side but you don't have to worry about that because there's no way it, i mean there's it's virtually impossible for anything to kick back up inside there um, when you're looking at it it completely protects the transducer so simple as that let me show you the summit fishing all right so the summit fishing cover looks like this now it does have it's enclosed on both sides and it has these cutouts right here on both sides. Okay, and then it has this arm that comes down to clamp it in place. You can see right here how it latches on there to secure it, okay? So when you put it on, this lever or this arm is gonna go on the opposite side of wherever your cable is. So my cable's up here, so you're gonna put it on like this. Now, one thing I noticed when I put this on for the first time, this one is very, very snug, which I guess in a way is good because once it's on there, you don't really have to worry about it falling off, but I'm not going to lie. I'm almost not a fan of it just because it is pretty snug. And when you go to put it on, you kind of have to not, you don't have to force it, but my concern is when you're kind of snapping it up there and then you just clamp that arm over to clamp it on there and it's not going to go anywhere. But my concern is it's, it's almost too snug because I'm a little bit worried about over time taking it on and taking it off every trip to the lake. Um, you'll see when you kind of go to take it off too, it doesn't come off very easily, which again, I guess is good in a way, but I'm a little bit worried about, you know, I don't want it to scratch or mark up the, the transducer at all. And you can tell, I'm going to compare the two side by side for you here in a minute so you can see the difference in quality. Um, but this one, I'm 99% I'm sure this is 3D printed. Um, you can almost tell by the way it looks. Don't quote me on that, but I'd be willing to bet the house that it is 3D printed. It looks like it is. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not a huge fan of how snug it is. Um, I wish it was actually just a little bit looser and then clamped over to secure it in place. I'm just a little bit worried over time, you know, taking it on and off the transducer. I don't want it to mark it up or scratch it. I mean, it hasn't yet. Um, no, nah, it hasn't really marked it up yet, but over time that, that's going to make me a little bit nervous. So let's look at them side by side. I'll show you guys the differences of them and uh, you guys can make up your own mind on which one you want to go with. So now that you've seen how they attach the transducer, let's take a look at them side by side. One thing I'm going to mention real quick, guys, before we go any further, I am not sponsored or affiliated with either one of these companies, okay? I always like to mention that when I do product reviews. Um, if I am affiliated with the company, I will tell you that up front. I'm honest with you guys no matter what. I don't care if I'm affiliated or sponsored. That doesn't matter. Any company that's ever reached out to me about sponsorship, that's the first thing I tell them is you got to be comfortable with me being honest because I don't lie to you. But I just like to mention I am not sponsored or affiliated with either one of these companies. 
All right, so you saw how they attach to the transducer. Let's take a look at them side by side. When you are holding them in your hands, there is a clear difference as far as quality goes. It's not gonna turn out on camera. I mean, I can give you a look at them side by side, but you're really not gonna be able to tell by looking at them on the camera. You're kinda just gonna have to take my word for this, but let me show you something real quick with the Summit Fishing one. First off, let me get it kinda close to the camera. You can probably see the lines in the grooves, which is why I think I'm 99.9% 99 .9, 99 .9 sure this is 3D printed. You can almost tell by the way it's grooved and, and there's the lines in it. But I can literally, Again, I don't know if it's going to turn out on video, but when you're holding it, I could take one hand and kind of compress it. Now, I'm not saying it's flimsy. I'm not saying it won't protect a transducer, but when you compare it to the Ashmore Marine products um, cover, this thing, I mean, I can take both hands and give it everything I have. Squeezing that thing, and it's not budging. Rock solid. So durability and, you know, the stoutness of the, the cover itself Ashmore Marine Products, hands down, it's not even close. Um, it's definitely more heavy duty and just built better. The Ashmore Marine Products one too, as I, as you can see, this is absolutely not 3D printed. I can tell you that. I can tell just by looking at it and uh, by the way it feels. I'm not sure what it's cut out of, um, but it's cut out of a solid piece of something. There's no doubt about that. Um, again, Summit Fishing, 99.9% .9 sure that's 3D printed. Much more stout and I'm sure is gonna be much more durable over time for sure. Um, as I mentioned, as I was showing you on the transducer, I also prefer the way the Ashmore Marine products attaches to the transducer itself. I love the fact that you just slide it over nice and easy, secures with a thumb screw, so that way it's nice and secure. I mean, for this to come off, you'd have to completely unscrew this thumb screw out of the transducer in order to get the cover off. Okay, the Summit Fishing, I'm just not comfortable with the way it feels going on and off the transducer. It's very, very snug, which again, some people might look at that as a positive, and I guess in a way it could be. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about this one falling off either. In my opinion, it's almost too snug. I'm worried about it marking or scratching up the transducer over time. Some people aren't gonna care about that. That's up to you, for you to decide. But I will tell you that this is pretty snug going on and off the transducer. Once it's on there too, I'm not a huge fan that it just kinda this arm just like you can see how easily that can come on and off again i don't think it's going to fall off the transducer i just much prefer the way the ashmore marine products cover is secured all right so at, side by side having them both in my hands even though there's the price difference summit fishing is 40 dollars. ashmore marine is 125 that's one of the first things you're going to notice when you look at these things it's one of the first things i noticed is why such a big price difference but i can tell you after having them both in my hand I now know why and I can see why there's a price difference. If I was going to go shopping tomorrow and buy another one, just one, Ashmore Marine Products, hands down, um, for the reasons that I mentioned. All right, just the way it secures, I much prefer that, and it is definitely more heavy duty and just built better than the Summit Fishing cover. All right, if you guys have any questions on anything I didn't cover, these things are pretty self-explanatory, obviously. I just wanted to do this side-by-side -side for you guys. I did it for myself, too, when I picked up both of these. I wanted to see why was there such a price difference because, again, that's a pretty good jump. Um, but I, And I was interested to see, you know, what the differences were. Um, and I also wanted to do this video for you guys for the channel just so you guys can make up your own mind. But if you're asking my opinion after having them both in my hands, I'd be paying the extra money for the Ashmore Marine products, hands down, without a doubt. I, I wouldn't even hesitate. So any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. We'll get them addressed for you, and we will see you on the next video. Take care, guys.